Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are going out on a high tonight. This group coming to the stage is going to put on a clinic when it comes to great songs and a great quartet. Now, their leader, Phil Cross, he's got more number one songs than you could fill in a tractor trailer load. I'm telling you. And he's got one of the best lineups to singing going these days. And we're glad to have him to close out the Tuesday night of NQC. Make welcome Phil Cross and Poet Voices. Hey, everybody. Inside the party game, we will hear the music and get carried away. Immediately, we'll take a part and sing along. Before you know, we're singing everybody's song. Everybody's memorized every line, and everybody's harmonized and rhythm and rhyme, and everybody's mesmerized around the throne. great for our team to be at National Quartet Convention. It's been many, many years, and we're honored to be here. Hasn't tonight been great? Wow. We've heard so many great things, and all about Jesus. That's my favorite subject right there. It's so great for our team. Guys, so good to be with you guys on this platform here tonight. Can I do a, a story behind a song I wrote years ago? I was 15 years old. Pa, my grandfather, was afraid for me to learn how to drive. He gave me the keys to his blue 63 Chevrolet Impala. And he said, son, go out in the driveway. And I did. One of the happiest moments of my life. I went out there and backed it up 30 feet, pulled it forward 30 feet, backed it up 30 feet, pulled it forward 30 feet for hours and hours and hours. It sounds boring when you're 65, but when you're 15, it's a blast. I had my first accident. I pulled it forward 35 feet. Right there was a cedar tree. And the cedar tree stopped me. And I put a cedar tree sized dent in the front chrome bumper of the 63 Chevrolet Impala. 
I thought I would never get to drive that car again. I went to school the next day thinking, oh no, I'm not going to get to drive today. And when I got home, my grandfather had a surprise for me. He had gotten a hammer and a nail, and he had nailed a nail with a hammer next to on the kitchen door there. And he had went to Ace Hardware, and he had had a key cut and put on a, a keychain. And when I got home, he knew what I was thinking. He said, son, I know you thought you'd probably never get to drive again. But he had put that key on that nail, and he said, that's your key. Wow. I was thinking about that many years later, and I was thinking, boy, I know where there is a key. The key to everything in life. And so I wrote this song from that childhood memory, and I hope it reminds you that there is an answer to this old crazy world. One answer. There is a key only one key unlocking everything one of a kind is put in a place for everyone to see it's there for every whosoever will to find and I
Amen. The answer for whatever we're seeking is Jesus Christ. Amen. We're traveling all over the country this year celebrating 42 years worth of songwriting from one of the most prolific songwriters in all of Christian music. Are you glad to see Brother Phil Cross tonight? We're going to sing you a couple of Phil Cross classics. Maybe you'll recognize these two. Kirk Talley and I wrote this. Is that wedding music I The bride's adorned and ready to
tonight. Good night, everybody. God bless you. We'll see you tomorrow.